I started up my generator. You may not be able to hear me. Getting ready to do my test here. There's my generator. There's the cable. Cable hooked into the outside outlet. Here's my John Deere, John Deere tractor with my blade on it. If you want to see a video on that, click on the link. Okay, here's our power panel. And these are the lights in the garage on the bottom right here, which I just turned off, turned back on. See that? Um, so the first step is to turn off all the breakers in the panel. I put a star by the ones I think should be possibly turned on with the generator. And of course that can vary and over time. Uh, and those are temporary stars. My generator is labeled here. That's a temporary piece of tape but that's the upper part here so now we're ready to turn off the panel and it's off and now this allows us to slide the interlock up and turn on the 30 amp breaker so Let's see if we can get any power with the generator. Turning on the lights in the garage first. And there they are. They're working. So my circuit's working right now. Don't see any fires <laughs> so far. Okay, let's turn on a few other items like uh, maybe the refrigerator which you have to find where that is number 12 and I'm going to go in and see if the refrigerator is working okay the refrigerator is on I haven't got the compressor to come on yet Big test here is I'm going to turn on the um, furnace. So that's a big item, definitely important this time of the year. It's only going to be in the teens today. Heard the generator drop just a tiny bit. Let's see if it's working. Okay, the furnace is working. You can see the H. Standing for heat. It's a gas furnace and the blower is coming on now. I don't have the lights on in the furnace room. So, furnace is working, refrigerator is working. So, so far, so good. Okay, I'm going to turn on a few more items here. certain lights
microwave might need that master bedroom lights generator dropped a little bit there I don't have a lot of gas in it hopefully I won't run out of gas during this tra this training exercise there's the garage door operators will need those could do it manually but it's not fun smoke alarms it's important those are the major components so working great test is a success <clears throat> my conduit here where the wire is coming through the wall is not smoking or caught on fire or anything so uh, looking good okay well this <clears throat> this is definitely a success did just what I expected and so now I'm going to uh, shut off the generator power and I'm going to leave these other breakers on because I'm going to turn the power back on but uh, we just reverse the process otherwise you shut off the breaker that's dedicated to the generator and of course the lights are going off in the garage now the interlock automatically slid down on its own allowing me to turn the power on to the power panel and this is a tight thing to turn on because it hasn't been exercised that much but now it's on and the interlock tab prevents me from turning this 30 amp breaker on because the tab is in the way so it's a success so if you're interested in more of my uh, YouTube channels, just go to Harrison4803 and I'll be doing more do-it-yourself do type um, videos. So that's all for now. Old John signing off.